Why don't we start this again? As I was mentioning, sorry about the disconnection. So we just restarted the stream here. Thank you everyone for being here. I'm Abhidhi Yogi and today we'll have some stories, some songs and ideas for students in school and colleges and maybe even professionals who are doing some part-time courses to enable success, yeah? Be it the exams or the tests or how to focus and get a better understanding of the subjects. And lastly, career of our pursuits that we would like to pursue. How can we succeed in that? So that's what this session is going to be about. But we'll start with the song. space in between. And you know, remembering the times when I was in a classroom, there was a huge space in between where my mind was and what the teacher was teaching. You know, there were subjects that I liked and those that I didn't. 
but the main thing was, you know, my attention. Most of the time used to be outside the window, I guess. Or go to the times of, you know, what I'll have for lunch. Or playing with my friends. But there used to be a gap. between what the teacher was teaching and what was going up in my head here. Yeah? It was very, uh, I would say, later in life that I found a, a secret to uh, Learn the lesson that's being taught. Especially the lessons or the subjects that I didn't enjoy. Yeah? Or I found it hard to focus. Yeah? So there's a secret that I realized over the years. And that was... Anytime I lost focus or was not interested in, in whatever was going on, I started looking around the room at things that interested me. And slowly, I brought my gaze down to my, you know, desk or wherever I was sitting, looking at the things that interested me. Maybe, you know, it took me about two minutes or three minutes, maybe, yeah? Looking around, ah, there's a spider cobweb in the corner, yeah? Ah, interesting. And then, maybe the painting or the message on the wall. Okay. Then on the bench, maybe someone had scribbled something or engraved, yeah. Or a shape, you know, from the wood grains. And then I used to bring my attention to my hands looking at the different lines and then to my breath I used to start counting you know my breath just focused on the breath in and out yeah and when I was focused in my breath you know just counting it right it was like magic that um, whatever the teacher was teaching was going in to my head yeah Whatever he was saying, whatever he was writing on the blackboard, I didn't understand it much, but it was going in. I was, uh, I think, comprehending it a little bit better, yeah? So the math or the physics or law or this or that, yeah? Just some of the most boring stuff sometimes.
whenever I was counting my breath, you know, and looking at the board and just not trying to understand it or not trying to force anything or listen or none of that, just counting my breaths and listening to the teacher, you know, whatever he was saying or she was saying and looking at the board, the subject was going in. I realized that I was focused a little bit better than you know when the class started so that was my uh, secret to understand things to focus especially during times or subjects that of the not liked or I considered boring and that was just to bring my attention to my breath by counting the breaths. And how to come to the breath? First notice all the cool things around. You know, a little bit far in the room. And then maybe something that's close by. And then maybe your fingers or hands or your feet, whatever. And then the breath. And start counting it. And look at whatever is being taught. Just look, yeah? No effort in understanding, just counting the breath, look at it. And listen to whatever is being said. Don't worry about the understanding, it'll happen. But just a trick that or secret that sort of helped me over the years. Thank you. This uh, next song is by YouTube called One Is it getting better or do I feel the same Does it make it Easier on me now Now that I've got someone to blame You say One love One life It's one truth You and I One You got to share it It leaves my baby Jesus, or have I come here to raise the dead? Or have I come here for forgiveness? Or have I just come here for the hell? Did I ask too much? More than a
these two. Study for the exams, yeah? Tests. And, um, so this was back in India. So me and my friends would come together. pretext of just you know studying for the test and I think we had more fun I would say yeah but if I were to think about what helped me to uh, succeed in the exams to the capacity that I could yeah Again, a secret, yeah? So... I did not know English to speak or write or anything until the fifth grade. And because of my dad's work, we had to move you know, to different places. I had to learn English to speak, write, and whatnot, and understand when I was in the fifth grade, which I started. But my grades back then would be all F's most of the times because I didn't understand squat. So I would come home. And my dad would ask me, did you give your best? And I said, yeah. And that was it. I had all Fs. And he wouldn't say nothing, yeah? I said, okay. You gave your best, right? Cool. What do you think, he would say, it would help? For next time, I said maybe tuitions. And so my mom enrolled me into this tuition class. A really good teacher, yeah? Who taught me not only English but two other languages because they were needed within a span of three months to read, write, speak and then he taught me the discipline yeah, on how to learn a language now I look back at it Then onwards as well, you know, the grades started improving from F's to maybe D's, yeah. Then eventually C's by the time I was in, I think, eighth grade. But anytime I took the, you know, the report card to my dad or my mom, the only question was, did you give your best? Think you can do to do better next time okay and that was it so how do I face the exams of today you know be it at work or as a father or as a partner you know different exams right different tests that life presents well <laughs> after the results come you know sometimes success sometimes failure all I ask myself is hey did I do my best or did I give it my best and 
if the answer is yes or no, the next question I ask is, what can I do better for next time? The lesson learned yeah, from that result or the experience. And over the years, you know, practicing this thought process, I've been able to take some risks because I'm not afraid of the result, you know. Because the result, whatever it may be, I learn how to do better next time, right? So it's helped me, I think, face exams or challenges or take up new opportunities or new learnings because uh, I consider every result as an input to do better next time. So that's the secret for exams and uh, I think we give our best and learn from the rest I think would be the secret yeah, to succeed in exams. Sing this next one, it's a Hindi song.
thank you for listening to the song that was completely out of tune i think and i made i think like seven mistakes in the chords but next time i sing it i hope i correct that yeah to listen or to learn from the result yeah and one of the things was maybe i wasn't paying attention i wasn't with my breath and it brings us to the last point or idea yeah that we were going to discuss you know whatever we learn in classroom or outside and these tests and exams how will they ever help us in our career and our pursuits which we have no clue when we're in the classroom yeah so as i mentioned even today paying attention to especially the boring stuff when i can't i bring my attention to my breath and let the story roll yeah whatever it is whatever the lesson is and after every result i look at did i give my best where can i do better next time right but as i said you know the song that i just played before this yeah has this talk goofed up and talking about goof ups <laughs> back in college I started learning guitar for 2 weeks and then I got onto the stage against my teacher's advice who was my friend yeah who said maybe you need to practice more I said no I think I'm ready and I got onto the stage and I did the worst singing or playing and as it is i think you know my voice or my playing i like it but it's not perfection yeah even now but back then it was even worse right? because i just practiced for 2 weeks and i made a fool out of myself if i were, if i were to say that yeah my friends teased me after that this was in front of the whole college by the way in a talent show and uh I came down the stage and uh, someone very close to me said please don't ever sing or play the guitar again and they said it for my own good by the way because that really motivated me to practice a little bit more and here I am playing the guitar and I have been playing the guitar for a long time and singing the way i could yeah but i've been doing it because i like to and it's a part of my work it's a part of what i like it's a part of my hobby passion whatever you want to call it yeah but it helps me you know the guitar and it started you know back then when i completely bombed on the stage and the reason i tell this story is in our career in our jobs you know we have some ideas on what we want to pursue but the results don't go that way most of the times yeah and when results don't go that way i think we can handle that but we might have people who might come and tell us hey, you know what quit but 
what I believe. Each one of us eventually finds something that gives us happiness. You know, apart from all the comforts and whatnot, right? So that's important. I'm not saying no, do that, yeah. But in our career, right? So doing a job, doing something for money and fame and this or that, yeah, that's great. But from a career standpoint and a pursuit standpoint, right? Something that I do for which I don't need no acknowledgement or I don't need a reward or a pat on the back. It's just because I like to. I hope you find that. Because once you find that, I think we, at least in my case, are applying or learn to apply that, right? That way of working where you do it because you like to. You don't need the boss to tell you you did a good job or you don't need a promotion, but you just like to do it, right? Whenever we do anything selflessly and just because we like to, yeah? Eventually the rewards that we get are priceless is how I've seen it be it playing a guitar or be it working in a job. Because when we do things because we like to, without a worry about who says what and did they recognize me or did I get this or that, without all that, right? Yeah, that's in our plan, but without all that, when we do things because we like to, something beautiful happens and it's pretty evident for everyone to see and with that usually people recognize such an effort so in your career and your pursuits whatever they may be yeah and for whatever reason they may be you know for money for fame for reaching a particular milestone yeah keep all that yeah but find one thing that you want to do where it's just for yourself. You enjoy it. And whatever you learn from that exercise, yeah, of doing things just for yourself, what you enjoy, apply those ideas to your work, to your career, to your job. then the sky is the limit. So again, thank you for being here. We talked about how counting of the breath helps to focus in a classroom, whatever the subject, boring or interesting. Yeah? Then we shared the ideas about how learning from every result, right? To do better next time helps us give our best. So two questions after getting a result from exams or any other thing. Did I give my best? And what can I do to do better next time? And the very last thing in terms of career and pursuits and jobs. To do one thing, it might be a hobby or it might be either actual job or it might be a sidekick, if I may say that. Just for yourself. It don't matter how many likes you get or what promotions or what money, but it gives you happiness. You know, pursuing that one thing and applying that you know that mode of working or those ideas to your job or whatever is on hand or studies and 
then the sky is the limit. So again, in conclusion, thank you for being here. Tomorrow, same time, 12 noon, I'll be streaming live at abhi.thiyogi.com 